Growing up throughout the 90s, we always thought that life would be just like those high school movies or, or high school TV series in which we would want to be the popular kids, the star athlete, the cheerleader. Even if we're not American, we ended up growing up thinking that we needed this. But today, I'm going to tell you that to be a magnetic person, you don't need any of that. It actually is much easier nowadays because after people started using this and thinking they could get away with sending a Facebook message for your birthday instead of at least calling you, at least writing a note and saying, man, I really like you. I really appreciate this, this and that about you and sending you chocolate or anything. No, people think they can get away with sending you a message, an emoji, like a cake emoji. Wow, congratulations, happy birthday. I don't care about you. This is how we feel, come on. When you see a bunch of messages on your birthday, a bunch of emojis, what do you feel? Do you feel, wow, this person loves me, I'm so cherished, of course not. You feel like, yeah, he had a list of 10 people that have the same birthday as I do, and he only clicked each one of them. It's almost like if he put a list on MailChimp and sent the email to everyone. And that doesn't make us feel special. And at the end of the day, being a magnetic person, being magnetic or having a magnetic personality is about making people feel the connection, making people feel special. Like they're the only one. You know, one of the people in the past that had this gift of making people feel like he was speaking to them and just to them was Bill Clinton. And if you look at some, some stuff from the 90s when he was running for office to become the U.S. president, he really had those eyes that looked deep into your soul and made you believe that you were the only one for him. You know, you, you need to look into people's eyes with those eyes. You need to do what we were taught by our grandparents from the silent generation, from the baby boomer generation. You know, the things that people know they should be doing, but they don't do. For instance, you should know how to shake hands properly, like firmly, looking deep in the eyes. You should send people birthday cards. You should send them Christmas cards. You should call them once in a while. You should do all of these little things that unfortunately are harder to scale. So people just don't do them. But this is the good thing. Since no one does these things anymore, if you do them, you will be leagues ahead. You will be a superstar and have a magnetic personality just by doing the basic stuff. So today, we're going to talk about three basic things that you can do that will have so much bang for your buck that you won't believe it. So the first one of them is, I don't know if you guys remember that 90s show, Dinosaurs. I may be seeming a bit old for the younger generations now, but, you know, in older movies and older um, cartoons, there was this figure of the dad coming back home. And when he's getting home and he's opening the door, he would say like, honey, I'm home with that, you know, enthusiasm, with that energy that because he was eager to see his wife, he was eager to see his kids. And this is something that most of us, we just go derping around. You know, you take the elevator, everyone's looking at their cell phone. Like they're so important, like who gives a damn about the message that they're going to get? Or many times they don't even have any messages. No one's calling them. They're just looking because they can't be around other people. They can't look other people in the eye. They're too afraid to look other people in the eye. So if you go into the elevator and don't do that, you're already in the top 10% easily. But if you... One up on that, and in every room that you get into, you adapt that honey, I'm home energy 
You know, you come into the room as if it were the last room you're going to get into, as if it was the last thing you're going to do. And you come into the room with so much energy and wanting to uplift everyone inside that room. I promise you will get much, much better results and people will love you for that. Because like I said, people are derping around looking at this. They're not paying attention. And this is something that people used to do. Everyone used to do it, but no one does it. So if you do it, you will be ahead of everyone else. So adopt this. Every door is a portal. When you walk through a door, you need to change your demeanor instantly and adapt the better part of yourself for that situation. So if it's a work thing, adopt your working self, but with a positive energy. Go all in. Also, another thing that has totally to do with the Honey, I'm Home energy is smile like you mean it. You need to smile. A smile is something that opens doors. It's something that may be worth millions of dollars. Literally, if you are someone like an actor or a musician or a social media influencer, but not only literally, so literally, but also in your life, if you're smiling to people, if you come across with that positive energy and the smile talks for you, it's the most powerful curve in a person is the smile. It's to, you know, when, when someone talks to you and they light up because they're smiling and then you can see their eyes kind of squinting a little bit, over here, if you're smiling, you're making people feel better. If you make people feel better, they will like you more. And if they like you more and they feel better when you're around them, then they will help you. They will like you. They will, you will get much better results of your life. And not only that, we're not only talking about results here, but you will have a more fulfilling life. You'll have deeper connections with other people that you meet. So a smile can melt a cold heart, can open doors. And it's so sincere and powerful that when you're smiling, even your tone of voice changes. You know, they used to tell, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to tell telemarketing people, those telemarketing people that call us all the time, and now they're robots mostly, but they used to tell them to smile while they were saying the pitch, you know, that pitch that they sell kind of robotically sometimes, they used to tell them to smile because you can hear it from through the microphone or through the telephone. You can hear that the person is smiling. It's weird to think, but try it sometime. Like get, get the phone and try to say something without smiling and then try to say something smiling. You'll see how different it is. Like really the tone of voice, you, you can really feel it. And you've probably already heard someone that you know of doing this. So I'm not even going to get into too much detail. So that's tip one. Bring high energy into every room you enter. Use the Honey, I'm Home framework, the Honey, I'm Home energy. Second thing that most people don't do, but it's so easy to do. Really, it's so easy, but we don't do this anymore. It's all about the small things, like the Blink-182 song, all the small things. So do you remember the last time that someone gave you a handwritten note, a handwritten thank you note, a handwritten note about whatever it was? You probably do, because no one does that anymore. So everyone thinks that you, they can get away with a text message. But if you send someone a thank you note after a meeting, after a job interview, a handwritten thank you note, thank you for having me. It was an honor to meet you, Mr. Smith. You will obviously get much better results than the people that don't bother to say anything afterwards. And even if you're going to give someone a gift, for instance, an anniversary gift, to your boyfriend or girlfriend or a Mother's Day gift to your mom. If you put a handwritten note with it, if you handwrite a little letter, like 
I really appreciate you because you're the best mom in the world, so and so, blah blah blah. With love, your name, and put the date. It will make things so much more special. <laughs> so much more special. It will make things more special, and they will remember this, and they will cherish the note more than the gift itself, probably. So um, some other small things that you can do to people that cost you nothing or very little, you can give them a birthday call, you can send a thank you note, you can give them a sincere compliment if there's something. For instance, you see someone that's wearing a very nice jacket and you kind of think, wow, that's a cool jacket. You can go to them and say, hey, your jacket is pretty nice, pretty cool. Like, totally, you're not trying to manipulate them or anything. You're just giving a genuine compliment about something that you really like. Or if someone has an interview or a very special occasion, you can send them a good luck message. You can ask them about something they cherish. For instance, it might be a hobby. It might be someone that they really love. You can ask how... How is your daughter doing? How is your son doing? And just by doing these small things, just small things that show you care, you will already be leaps and bounds above everyone else because people don't do this. People forget about this. People are so self-obsessed that they just think about themselves and they forget to help or to bring this positive positivity to the people around them. And if you are the one bringing positivity, positivity, my God, <laughs> then you will be ahead of everyone else. You will be that person that's magnetic, that everyone likes to be around. The popular person that everyone wants. Like, they're happy if you're here. They're happy if you go to their birthday party because they know you're awesome. And the third one, the third one is the most important for real and it's it's something that most people don't do anymore and it kind of gets on my nerves. So you remember a few months ago, I think, or a year ago, LeBron James was about to break the all-time NBA scoring record that had standed for decades. And there's a very interesting picture at the moment, he took the shot that broke the record, and everyone behind the basket has their phone up. So they paid thousands of dollars to be there, and they weren't even looking with their own eyes. There was a TV. There was probably someone making a documentary about it. They had professional-grade cameras all around, and... People were filming with their cell phones. Instead of looking, instead of seeing with their own eyes, which have much better definition than any camera, they were looking through a tiny screen like this. And that's baffling to me. That's baffling. And it's the same thing now with, now they want us to use those headsets with a bunch of weird ass cameras like they say it's 3d or whatever but imagine you are only living those moments once in a lifetime your kid will take their first steps once in a lifetime you will only be able to have this moment a dinner with your wife a dinner with your parents that specific dinner, that specific night, that specific moment, you won't have it a bunch of times. You will have it only once. And what happens if you are at dinner with them, but everyone's like this, oh, 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 looking at this, blah, 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 I'm looking at my camera. What happens if everyone's looking at their camera? You won't even remember that moment. You won't even register in your brain that moment because you will be looking at random things on a screen. And that's ridiculous. So please, for the love of God, as soon as you finish this video, as soon as you like, subscribe, send it to your friends, please, for the love of God, be present because that's 
the third one and that's the most important one for me and it should be for you as well for god's sakes life's a collection of moments the times we typically remember are the ones we let fly by as we look at pixels on a screen so you don't remember what you did last week because you were so fixated on a screen you don't remember also the things you do for work because you're looking at a computer screen however if you go on a vacation and you're spending the whole day on the street feeling things looking smelling listening being present you will remember much more and that's the thing why don't you do this on your day to day why don't you do this every time you have a meal why don't you do this going to the gym why don't you go on a walk and pay attention to the world around you because you don't need even to fly halfway across the world to be present Quite the contrary, you should be able to be present every day so that every day has something memorable, every day has something that you're fully focused on that's not a random screen. So that's the thing. The, we are guilty because we let ourselves indulge in the most valuable of presents. And the most valuable of presents is time itself. There's a reason why the present, the moment right now, this moment right now is called the present. It's a gift. It's your greatest gift in life. The moment you have right now. Our life is a collection of now, 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 now. It's always now. How soon is now? It's always now. There's no past. There's no future. There's only now. So you can't go back. You can't change the future. You can't change the past. You can change the future, but you will do this now. And then tomorrow you will continue doing this, but tomorrow will be today. And then the next day will still be today because you will be on that continuum. For you, it will always be now. There's no such thing as a future. There's only the now. So you never know when will be the last time that you will pick up your child because one day they will be too heavy or they won't want to be picked up or that you will be able to visit your grandparents or that you will be able to call your friend for advice. So the optimized way to live and to be magnetic to the people that you hold dear is to give them the best present of them all, your full undisputed attention with no screens, with nothing else, just chill, clean the table, look them in the eye. Like your grandpa used to say, look people in the eye, be confident, smile, do those things, and doing these very simple things that people forgot about, that's how you become magnetic. You know, the best present is to be present, to be there. And unfortunately, many people don't do these things anymore, but you aren't one of those people. You are a rock star. You are on my band, in my band, and you will show this to your friends. You will show this to your relatives, and you guys will start being more present with each other. You will remember to send them a gift for their birthday, to give them a call once in a while to see them as much as possible and when you are with them to actually be with them to actually look in their eyes to hug them as much as you can kiss them as much as you can because you don't know when the last time will be so please please be present thank you for watching please like subscribe share i have a podcast i have a newsletter and they are all about these themes it's all about making you guys the best version of yourselves the inner rock stars and thank you again for watching please like and subscribe let's go go go